Check out this homemade pizza that I made right here at home. But you didn't come here to watch someone eating a pizza. But in case you did, the next five seconds are for you. What I'm gonna do for real is show you how to make a homemade kaleidoscope. These make some really cool patterns like this, and this, and this. Ready to learn how to make one? Then let's get science. To make your own kaleidoscope, you will need reflective paper, I'm using mylar paper, some thin black cardboard, recycled plastic like these berry containers, colored beads that let the light through, or pieces of Lego like this, paper with a cool pattern on it, scissors, clear tape, glue, a hot glue gun, and an empty paper towel roll. If you can't find this reflective paper in a craft store, you can make your own by gluing aluminium foil to a thin piece of cardboard. The first step is to cut two centimeters off the end of the roll. Put this to one side as we're gonna need it later. Decorate the roll using some patterned paper. You can skip this step if you want, but it does make it look really cool. The second step is to make an eyepiece for one end of the kaleidoscope. Trace out a circle on the black cardboard using the two centimeter piece of paper towel roll. Then cut the circle out. Cut out a smaller circle in the middle. This circle should be about two centimeters in diameter. Get an adult to attach the eyepiece to the end of the large roll using the hot glue gun. The third step is to make the inside of the kaleidoscope. Take that two centimeter piece of roll from earlier, cut it open and then measure its length. Multiply this length by 0 0.276. If you want to know where this number comes from, pause now. Subtract one millimeter from the number that you got. I had 3.3 centimeters, so I'm now gonna have 3.2. Multiply that number by two, and then by three. Mark these lengths along the left side of the reflective paper. Measure the length of your paper towel roll and subtract one centimeter. Mark this length on the top of the reflective paper. Make a rectangle and add lines for each distance. Cut this out and then fold along these lines. You might want to get an adult to run a sharp knife along the lines first to help them to fold. Then tape the two edges together. Slide this all the way into the roll until it touches the eyepiece. The fourth step is to trace out two circles on the plastic container using the two centimeters of roll from before. Then cut them out. Take one plastic circle and place it into the end of the tube. Trim the circle down if it doesn't quite fit. Then glue this in place using the hot glue gun. Take that two centimeter roll from earlier and make it into a circle again. But this time overlap the ends by one centimeter and tape it together. And then tape and glue the other plastic circle to one end. Add a few beads of different colors to the small roll and then slide this into the end of the large roll. And there it is. To look at the patterns, simply hold it up to a light or a lamp. Never point it directly at the sun. Whoa! Awesome! So why did I start with the pizza? Well, I was hungry, but I also wanted to teach you how a kaleidoscope works. Here's that lovely cheese pizza, just for me. I was really hungry, and soon there was only half left. Luckily, I could use this mirror to make it look like a whole pizza. This is the real pizza, and this is its reflection. My brother loves pizza, so I sent him a photo and invited him around. I waited and waited and took another piece of pizza and, uh-oh, uh-oh. But then I realized, sure, eating one more piece of pizza got me into this mess, but it can also get me out. I took a second mirror and ta-da! I now had a whole pizza again, made up of the real pizza, two reflections, and this, a reflection of the reflection. I could even eat one more piece of pizza and still make it look like a whole pizza using these mirrors. A kaleidoscope works the same way. These are the real beads, these are the reflections, and everything else is a reflection of the reflections. Coming! Don't worry, I'll buy my brother a new pizza. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Silly Science with Simon.